Who can ignore a harp seal? You can't turn your gaze from it. It's one of the most beautiful creatures on the planet. And here, it requires ice to survive. I began covering harp seals in 2011. Here we are in 2023, and we've run out of time. We've run out of ice. Quebec's Magdalen Islands in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. In winter, this is a giant nursery for around 100,000 harp seals. They migrate here just to give birth. These ancient pupping grounds now face collapse due to the climate crisis. This entire ecosystem is shifting right in front of our camera lens. They make the journey from the Arctic down as pregnant females in February give birth almost in unison. And these seals need 10 to 12 days of nursing. Then they have to mature enough learning how to feed, learning how to swim, learning how to be a harp seal. And if the ice forms late or doesn't form at all, it's a recipe for disaster. Because we're on the southern edge of the most southern area in the northern hemisphere where there's the ice uh, forming, then it makes us more susceptible uh, to climate change. So it's, it's the canary in the, in the coal mine. If something's happening to sea ice, this is where we're going to see it. Back in the day when most of the Gulf of St. Lawrence was ice covered wall to wall, the sea ice was typically 30 to 50 centimeters thick and you could walk on a single ice flow, it could be like kilometers uh, in size. So the difference between those years where ice flows were gigantic and now is, is dramatic. The climate models show that sea ice will in future become a rarity. 2020, the last time it was possible to capture the seals nursing on it. This photo shows their place of safety literally tearing apart. I saw the mothers with the newborn pups on fractured ice, held together by slush. But it was like looking at your grandmother's quilt. There were seams everywhere that in the next storm wasn't going to hold up. Simple as that. Our helicopter landed on a small piece of ice. I look down and I see a pup struggling in the sea ice and he's dying and it's just given up and it's out of energy. And I get in front of it and it detects me. It realized I was solid. And it clambered up on me. It's clinging for life on my chest. I got alongside of a piece of ice and I let it clamber out on its own when it eventually rested. Historically, hunting was one of the greatest threats to harp seals in this area. Now it's human-driven climate change. It takes away not just the seals, but the ecotourism industry, which has flourished around them. Tourism is the second most important industry on Magdalen Island after lobster fishing. This year was the third time in a row that we had to cancel the harp seal tour. The harp seal brings so much uh, strong connection to the people that they will also help people to under understand the, the importance of the climate crisis that we're all living it now, not only here on the islands, but all around the world. Today we're flying three or four legs out to uh, Setsil or Avasanka. So first to Rimouski. The first decade I've been, I was doing this, there was some variability, but no trend. And now we've been doing this long enough, measuring the water content, the heat content of the, the Gulf St. Lawrence in the winter, to know that there is a trend and it's warming. This year there's hardly any ice, uh, but it's a coin toss. The oceans are the engines. They're the engines of our planet. As the harp seals are forced to chase ice, it puts them back in the vicinity of polar bear predation, which is what they escaped first 
come out of the Arctic. I still have ice, but I'm out of the reach of the polar bear. From the Arctic to the Antarctic, the world's cold places are being reshaped faster than anywhere else on the planet. Antarctica this year recorded the lowest ice levels on record. Catastrophic sea level rise will not only wash away the homes of creatures, but ultimately ours too. The Gulf of St. Lawrence is this microcosm. It, to me, it's almost like looking at this scaled down model of climate change. The face of this climate change being the harp seal pup. 